Hi everyone, and welcome to another Xcode tutorial. In this tutorial, we're going to learn how to find your current location in Swift. So I'm going to start by opening up Xcode and create a new Xcode project. It's going to be a single view application, and I'm going to call it current location. And then it's going to be Swift and iPhone. I'm going to go to main app storyboard and I'm just going to put a map view and go hit this triangle and hit add missing constraints. Now I'm going to go to viewcontroller.swift and create a new outlet for our actually first need to import map, map kit and I'm going to create an outlet space bar it's going to be an mk map view and then I'm going to go to here and link it up And then go back to here and I'm going to here create a location manager so I'm gonna type in var location or manager equals CL look bar manager CL location manager And then here I'm gonna put manager equals CL location manager. It's gonna be an empty CL location manager. So, you, have to, you have to put it here. And then I'm going to here put manager dot delegate equals self and I'm also going to put CL location manager delegate and then I'm gonna put um, manager dot desired Accuracy equals K C C L location accuracy best. Then we type manager dot request when when in use authorization. And actually to do this, we have to go to supporting files at info.plist and we're gonna add another one and it's called NF location when and use usage authorization or er, description and here I'm going to put we need your location and then I'm going to add another one that's ns location always usage author description. I'm going to put we need same thing your location and then I'm going to go to view controller at Swift and then just type manager dot start updating location and then here I'm going to create a new function so I'm going to type location manager did 
did update locations and in here I'm gonna put um uh, I'm gonna have a variable called call user location I'm gonna set it equal to locations bracket zero as CL location Then I'm gonna have a variable called latitude. And I'm gonna, it's gonna be CL location degrees. And I'm gonna set it equal to zero. Um, user location dot coordinate dot latitude. Then I'm going to have a variable called longitude. I'm going to set it, it's also going to be CL location degrees. I'm going to set it equal to user location dot coordinate dot longitude. Then I'm going to have a variable called lat delta. I'm going to set it equal to 0 0.05. Also, have to specify it's also CL, CL location degrees. And then I'm going to have a variable called lon delta. And it's also going to be CL location degrees. And I'm going to set it equal to 0 0.05. And then I'm going to have a variable, variable called Span. I'm going to set it equal to mk coordinate span make, and it's going to be lat delta and lon delta. Then I'm going to have a variable called location. I'm going to set it equal to CO location coordinate 2D make and it's going to be latitude and longitude. Then I'm going to have a variable called called region. I'm going to set it and I'm going to set it equal to MK coordinate region make and it's going to be location and span then before we do anything else i'm going to drag in a folder with the map pin class that i've made and i just need to use this class for um using map pins for making the pin an annotation for your current location. So I'm gonna type in map pin or should um oh so, I'm actually going to get it from one of my other projects. So, see if this works. And I'm going to hit yes. And in the bridging header, I'm going to type hashtag import map pin dot h and I will go back here and take map map pin and I have a variable called pin 
I'm going to set it equal to map pin. And then I'm going to have pin dot title equals um, pin dot title equals uh, let's say current location. And then I'm going to type pin dot dot subtitle equals this is where you are and then pin dot 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 coordinate equals region dot center and then I'm gonna say map dot add annotation it's gonna be pin And then we can run. And once it appears, I can go over here and let's say it's England. Paste the pin on England. And it says current location, this is where you are. And let's say we say New York, and we switch back, and it puts on a pin on New York. <laughs> it has two pins, but in real life, it would only have one pin. And like, if you want a highway, you can actually set location. See you on. intensely funny because what it actually does is it makes a line of pins so you can see with your route actually <laughs> and all of them say current location but that's fun so guys thank you guys for watching and I hope you see you in my other videos bye bye <laughs>